Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 10th episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the replicated firing of the bullet and the muzzle location and everything like that. So without further ado, we'll get into that. First thing we're going to do is open up our meshes, skeletal weapons, and for our weapon that we're using, So now that we have this open, I'm going to change the muzzle flash to muzzle. I'm just going to remove that muzzle flash. So now we have our muzzle. Just going to slightly move that ahead. And then our ammo eject, that that's for, we will, I will all set this up because it's a pretty cool feature, but like basically when you shoot a bullet, there'll be a, a, uh, Particle projectile that will shoot out and land on the floor every time you shoot a bullet. That looks pretty nice. Um, so now we have our muzzle. That's all we really need to do here. We want to go to our project settings first. And we'll go to inputs. We can remove this jump input. And we will make an input for shooting. So let's call it fire or shoot, whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Look for the, the uh, left mouse. Put that in like that. Go to our blueprints, character. And in our character, we'll go to our input graph. I'm going to toggle these off. Put this down. This is all for the aiming, so I'll put that all in there. And I'm going to right click and search for my fire or shoot event, whichever you named it. And the first thing we're going to do is create a branch and we're going to check if we're aiming because in, in Remnant, the way it works is we, you could, you only shoot when you're aiming. If we're not aiming, it'll perform a melee attack, which we will set up after so false. Let's print a string. So if we are aiming. We need a replicated fire event. So we'll go into here. Right click. And create a custom event. Server underscore fire. And this will run on the server and reliable. Also, uh, someone let me mention uh, the other day that I didn't select reliable on the run server. Um, you actually want to set the reliable because you don't want this variable not being true for any reason because it'll leave instances like say you're performing something else and it just won't run into this because it's not it's not reliable. Where I will just like make sure think it's overriding things. It'll always run. And the server fire event we always want to run, so that's also set reliable. We'll drag out and we'll spawn actor from class. And for now we'll just put our master projectile in. Is our class. Drag out, type in make transform. And the location is our equipped weapon. 
socket location. And I'm actually just going to make this a little bit easier to understand what that actually is for the skeletal mesh for the master weapon. This is going to be our weapon mesh. Compile and save. Now it should say weapon mesh. So for we want to get the muzzle socket that we created right here. That's the location. And the rotation will also be muzzle socket rotation muzzle we'll plug that in like that and spawns the projectile at the muzzle weapon and we will be eventually setting this up so that we can change the projectile per weapon but right now we only have one projectile so I guess so when we go to add a second projectile that's when I'll be setting that up um, so now that we have our projectile spawned we fire We want to go back to our input graph, and if it's we are aiming, we want to search for our server fire event. And we're also just going to we're going to get our equipped weapon. That's weapon that we're holding. Weapon mesh. The animation and we're at this fi fire rifle W that's the fire rifle weapon which is this animation it's actually pretty annoying so we'll keep that open for very long And right now it won't actually be playing the animation on the weapon. In another video we'll be setting up with the weapon animation blueprint and everything like that. So the weapon will actually it'll trigger or pull on the panel fire. But this will allow us to use the notifies from that. So now we're not aiming. We can't shoot. We're aiming and we'll be shooting our projectile. And you notice that we're hitting the player. I'll do a sprint check when we're aiming. Something put some, something I noticed. There's gonna be a few checks we're gonna be needing to add in around a lot. I'll do a video on that. In the next video, I will actually be doing the spine rotation because like I'm sure you won't want to be walking around like this for too many episodes. You'll want to aim up and down as soon. So I'll be doing the procedural aim offsets. So I think I'm just gonna do a bit of cleanup. On this. I'm actually going to change the color of this to a blue. Copy that. Go to my replication graph. Aiming. Speed and put it over here. And we 
we're going to have more stuff in the movement replication, such as crouching and dodging. So for now, I'm just going to name this category this. The rest of this video is just going to be organizing. It's not going to be too much. And the movement replication is going to be same color as the one in the other folder. I just copied the color. And weapon replication. So I'm going to use like an orange. I'll keep that bubble there actually. So now we have our weapon replication. So we know what that's the shooting percent. Go to our input graph. There's gonna be more things for the weapon coming soon, so it says like switching your weapon. I'm gonna comment this as weapon inputs. I'm actually gonna Get rid of those. And I'm going to color that the same color as the one in the replication graph. So let's copy this color inputs. Paste. And there we go. Now we have our movement inputs kind of matching up so we kind of know exactly where things are because it's color coded now. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit this like and subscribe button if you don't to miss out on anything else if you have any questions suggestions or comments feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my discord channel we have a pretty fast growing community and people in there are pretty helpful uh thank you and i'll see you guys in the next episode